So this part is going to be a little voiceover. This is a sensational clout nine wet lace wig Letitia. I got it in 613, but I'm assuming if you got it in black, it will look very natural. It reminds me a lot of like if you have natural hair and you put a perm rod set in it. I think it's um, a 13 by 6 frontal and then just tracks in the back it has a very nice parting space and these baby hairs are cracking me up these little doll baby hairs they were killing me but it has two combs in the front one in the back adjustable straps it has baby hairs in the back as well to dye this wig i used alcohol ink that i got from joanne fabrics it was like eight dollars each and here we go so it's the next day this is her we dyed her we did it it didn't turn out as planned, but I really love the blue on the bottom. And look at the inner part. I made sure I got everything. As you can see, you see the little orange part. Those are the ones that tested out and I didn't like it. So there is some orange in there, but I think it adds to the mermaid effect. Um, This shit does transfer a lot, as you can see. As you can see, it transfers. I did not cut the lace yet, but that's how the inside of the cap looks like. It's darker root at the top. Ombres into the purple, which ombres into the blue. There's some light teal pieces in there. Um, the good part about this is that you can go over color with color. The bad part about it is it's kind of hard to blend. So. The blending isn't what I would love. So in order to make it look blended, I did put some purple at the bottom on the top layer. So when you brush it, it does have that blend effect. Another con is that it does feel dry. Unlike my other method where I rinse the hair out so it doesn't feel dry. I think I'm gonna try alcohol with this when I do another wig, but you really have to make sure you're in a ventilated area and you really have to make sure you take safety, safety precautions if you're gonna use alcohol because this fume is already strong on its own. I want you guys to be safe. Links below to other people that tried this method. Because I only use the ink. Other people did ink and water, ink and alcohol. I'm gonna link those below. I'm gonna link the safety precautions for using alcohol ink and I'm also gonna link how to get alcohol ink off of surfaces and how to get it off of um, your clothing. I mean, your skin, it works the same way with both. So another con is that you have to buy more product when you use this version versus with an acrylic ink, but acrylic inks cost more. So I'm sure it's the same when it all pans out. But if you use alcohol, I'm assuming you won't need as much product, but this color is so beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it. And this gonna be my birthday hair, y'all. Pearls look so much better combed out. But anyway, I'm gonna put this on and come right back. So all I do to apply my wigs is use got to be spiking glue, put it on like that, fan it, it gets tacky and then I'm gonna um just press the wig on there press it firmly use a bandana to hold it for like five to ten minutes while having my edges done so it's all done at the same time after I press it down I put my bandana on and I do my makeup and then it's done how I applied the color is I just put on my safety gloves. Please make sure you're wearing safety gloves. And I just squirted the color on there and distributed it with my fingers. Um, it still does stain. So like I stated before, I'm just gonna use the method I saw in a YouTube video of my good sis showing you how to get the color out very, very easy. It comes out very, you have to really stain your fingers, it's getting tacky, so I'm about to apply it. So you have to really stain your fingers in order for it not to come off. And even then, it's just gonna take a couple of washes to come off, but it, that method does dry out your fingers. So make sure you're putting on a moisturizer, shea butter, whatever after, and you're spacing out your washes like you would if you were bleaching your hair or something. You guys take care of your skin. 
finish putting this on, do my makeup, and then show you guys the final so product. This is the final look. I had to put some foundation. I had to make it look good because the I accidentally dyed the wig cap, so I had to put. If you get close, you can see it. But I had to put some foundation. I used um, my tried and true, which I'll see in every color look I do. I use this palette, and I use that purple to make the. Um, I'm sorry, I'm hot. <laughs> to make the uh, the edges blend. Um, this is a very fluffy wig. But I did the edges on the other side. They're not the greatest. Because I got frustrated with my hands getting colored. I would say if you're styling this wig, to wear some gloves. Like some vinyl gloves or something. I believe when the dye is dry, it's not toxic because the alcohol is dissipated. I don't know if that's the right word. But don't quote me on that. So I would suggest wearing gloves and thoroughly washing your hands after use. I know it's kind of nappy right now. I do not have the energy to brush it. So cute. It's long than I thought it was going to be. It's actually a really long wig. The color is giving me life, baby, and it matches the makeup. I've always, for years, wanted to achieve this hair, and I am so happy. I cannot be happy. The little girl in me is so happy. I cannot believe that I've come full circle looking back and I'm able to be exactly who I wanna be and look exactly how I wanna look and not even care and to make money from it, it's so crazy. If you guys like this turnout, let me know. I think it's bomb. I'll see you guys in the next one.